Hello again everyone, Edwin Meyer of Beck once again, and this YouTube Astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about the Sun Square or Opposition Mars in a Natal Chart. Now some of you may remember when I first started my YouTube Astrology channel, I did a series on the aspects in a Natal Chart. They're a little bit concise. Some people may have referred to them as snappy, so what I decided to do was make another series on them in which the videos would be a little bit longer and more descriptive. So anyway, first thing up. Well, the Sun uh, square or opposition Mars in the natal chart, it could manifest in the difficulty in focusing on uh, what drives and motivates you. And let's say um, if Mars is in Pisces, as an example, what drives and motivates you, uh, maybe connected with poetry, dancing, photography. Um, it could be the metaphysical, which includes astrology, spirituality, you know, even rescuing, doing things, you know, working, uh, fishing, you know, working in boating or on a dock, uh, you know, to set up some examples. And the biological father and dominant males, um, you know, may not be in agreement you know, with those matters, the things that drive you know, and motivate you. If Mars is in Aquarius, say, you know, those things that drive and motivate you, you know, may include computers, electronics, uh, meteorology, astronomy, astrology, aviation, innovation, as some examples. And the thing, too, is uh, this um, there may be difficulty in putting that attention and focus. You know, on what you have that enthusiasm for, which is Mars. And, you know, if Mars is in Taurus, say, you know, those things you have that, you know, that strong enthusiasm for, you know, can include, you know, geology or just something with rocks in general, you know, gardening, cultivation, just making money in general, doing something as, you know, work with stocks, you know, doing something with architecture, you know, agriculture cultivation, gardening, things that, um, you know, it could be about, you know, assessing value in things, ascertaining value, you know, in material items as some examples. And another thing about this aspect that, you know, um, you know, if there's issues with activities, you know, that involve physical strength, it may have an adverse effect on your ego. And, you know, if you're doing, you know, Say if you know Mars is in Scorpio, you know those activities that involve physical strength may be tied in. It could be with you know just transformation in general. You know whether it's with the physical body or on some other level, it might be you know something you know. You know if Mars is in Aquarius, it could be physical labor you know, that involves humanitarian or altruistic actions. And the thing with this too is, you know, when you have, you know, this aspect, it could also, you know, manifest in, you know, having really, um, you know, trouble integrating, you know, leaders, you know, even your sexual connections, which is Mars, into your life in general, which is the sun. And, you know, if the sun stays in Capricorn, you know, it could be a life. You know, it's very structured, disciplined, consistent. A life in which you, you may desire to do things in a very you know, conventional, you know, orthodox manner, um, where you're very ambitious. You know, it could be a life dominated by the career, and that could indicate, in that example, difficulty in integrating, you know, those, um, you know, those people, you know, into your life. And you know, um, it could also be. You know, having this aspect can also manifest in having, you know, the difficulty, you know, in finding, you know, that energy and vitality, which is the sun, you know, to do things, you know, that have to be done independently, you know, which is Mars. You know, say, um, you know, Mars is an Aries, as an example. You know, those things that you may desire to do independently may include you know, doing something innovative or pioneering, or it might be you know, some something connected with an Aries type field, you know, such as carpentry, welding, firefighting. It might be military, you know, activities. 
maybe it's you know training in some you know combat sports you know like such as karate boxing wrestling you know something a kickboxing as some examples you know if um say mars is in gemini it might be something simply with writing you know, journalism communication um, something that involves you know manual dexterity you know such as auto refrigeration mechanics as some examples and the thing about uh, having this aspect it may also be difficulty um, in developing you know the muscular uh, physique it doesn't mean you can't but it may be more work involved in uh, doing so that's what you're trying to do and if you're like say you know somebody you know that works out vigorously or you're into bodybuilding it may take you know seem may seem like it takes more energy on your part you know more physical related energy and vitality in doing so you know if you have um you know taurus involved in the aspect that could really indicate you know that something like that may be done in a very you know deliberate plotting and methodical um manner um but steady as well so now the thing about it is this you know i would say this aspect can often you know give you know maybe you know, sometimes a contentious you know situation you know with the um, biological father you know dominant males people even in authority um in your life there may be acrimonious and you know, disputes with these people more so than the average person and the thing about it is you know the disagreements that you have may often you know not be ones of a constructive nature they may be more acerbic uh compared to the average person and also too you know another way you know this trend i'm sorry this aspect in a natal chart may be expressed it could be that mars related people you know whether it could be you know people that are leaders or sexual partners or surgeons people involved in law enforcement as some examples may not be compatible you know with your basic fundamental character which is the sun let's say if the sun is in the zodiac sign cancer you know, that basic fundamental character you know, may be one you know that sympathetic nurturing dedicated devoted protective introverted but may also be you know someone that can be clinging or brooding someone that's lamenting often on past you know um whether it's physical or emotional you know injuries and um you know this is where you know this aspect can also uh, manifest in having you no know, difficulty in terms of expressing or channeling anger in a constructive manner and you know the thing is uh, it's, it's important just to keep in mind if you have this aspect you know to try you know if you're having trouble expressing it constructively work on this you know whether it's getting you know, a punching bag you know or some kind of you know if you're maybe like a sparring partner if you're into combat sports as some examples and you know this may not be as auspicious in terms of dealing you know with injuries and surgery compared to the average person because you're you're talking about the sun which has a connection with the physical body and mars is associated with surgery now you know naturally you could have contraindicators in the natal chart such as you know your mars you know making you know a sextile or trying a more favorable aspect to your ascendant as some, as an example and even transits can help as well so it's not like you have this aspect doesn't mean that you know you're going to have a surgery you know it's going to you know definitely not go right but it could be some issues like in terms of like healing and you know things of that um you know, things of that nature because i would think most surgeries generally you know are generally auspicious anyway in terms of the, you know, the result you know um so that is how you know they may be you know expressed or may pan out that aspect but anyway people that'll conclude this youtube astrological segment until next time everyone saying stay well